Betty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an Aztec temple. I take two fingers in the center and I put a dot right underneath and I draw a slightly straight diagonal line up on the left, go back to the dot, slightly diagonal left up on the right. Come back to the left, draw a diagonal line up and a diagonal line over connect. I come to each corner and I'm going to draw a little straight line but leave them as a floater. I'm not going to connect them to anything. Two, three corners and inside I'm going to draw one, two straight lines, straight line across, one, two straight lines, straight line across. Now I'm going to bring these lines down so that I can connect everything so they're no longer floating. Anything that's a little above, just go ahead and add that little line. I'm going to add a single straight diagonal line up on top on the right and a single straight diagonal line up on the, right, on the left. I come right to the center line and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, leave it floating. And I'm going to come to each one of these little double lines and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down once, straight diagonal down twice, come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down again, mimicking that line. I come all the way over on the left again and I add another diagonal line going down on one side, do another diagonal line on the other side. Same thing on this side, on the right, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down. Now that looks like a lot of confusing lines, but it'll all make sense in a minute. Because right here at this corner, I'm going to go zigzag, 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 zigzag. And on the right, I'm going to go zigzag, 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 all the way down. Now I'm going to connect all my floaters. But I'm going to first draw a straight diagonal line down, connect, straight diagonal line up, connect. Now all of these lines that are floating, I'm now going to bring them down so that they connect with my main lines down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to start adding straight lines where my zigzags are to that center diagonal and then I'm going to come on the right and I'm going to add straight lines on the diagonals of my zigzags. I'm going to come right here on this section and I'm going to draw a straight line and then I'm going to draw a straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal all the way up straight line so that they meet on this one line. This is going to give you more of the stair steps that they used when they built these Mexican temple pyramids. Straight lines, straight diagonals. Now I'm going to come back over and I am going to make sure that this is not floating in outer space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a horizon line, which is a straight line to the edge of the paper on the right and a straight line on the left. Okay, let's see what this is going to look like colored in because it's going to make a little bit more sense. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is I have a couple of different colored browns I'm going to use. So first I'm going to take one brown and I'm going to do these stair steps going down and I'm going to take the same color brown and I'm going to go all the way down these two lines because these are also stairwells. I'm going to take the same color brown, I'm going to do the insides of my doorways of the temple 
And I'm going to also use this brown to do these straight line diagonals all the way down my pyramid. Once I've gotten these lines established, I can kind of see a little bit better what this is looking like. I'm going to color in the top part with that brown lighter to differentiate. And I'm going to take a lighter brown and color my roof, my stairwells, the other sections of the pyramid, both sides. Now, with my third brown, if you have one, and if you don't, all you can do is different degrees of using the color darker, lighter, and lightest of all. But with my darker brown, now I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to draw the little stair steps on this section of my pyramid. Now all of a sudden all these lines kind of make sense. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here is my temple all colored in. You can see all the gradations of the different colors browns that I used. And you can find these temples in uh, Mexico City in different parts of the Yucatan. Some people say they look Mayan along with the Aztecs and it's interesting to compare them to the Egyptian temples and pyramids. Okay, bye bye.